Okay, we've got an update, finally. This is my setup. Had to add a floppy drive because I needed to update the BIOS, or I think I needed to update the BIOS. At least refresh it, you know, give it a nice new version. Um, got the that one uh, power supply installed, physically installed, instead of just on life support. Um, I got a dusty old PS2 keyboard. I was using a USB one for a while, but well, USB from my main computer, and I was having to swap back and forth. I've got a USB floppy drive to get the BIOS onto a floppy, um, and the BIOS award BIOS that comes with this, you can hit Alt F2 during boot uh, to actually extract and boot to the award BIOS flashing utility so you don't need the flashing utility on the actual floppy itself. Unfortunately it would either say that file doesn't exist because it asks you for the file name and I would say an8b1009.bin and it would say this isn't the right BIOS like no I just downloaded it from the website or I'd try an older version and it would just say cannot find this file like no it's on the floppy right there in front of you just check it please didn't work so I downloaded the latest version of the award BIOS flashing software put it onto a floppy disk was able to boot from the floppy disk well first I made a MS-DOS bootable floppy just through Windows 7 on my main PC added the bin files, added the award flashing software, was able to boot to the A drive prompt, open the award software, type in the file name, the one that I wanted to do, hit no, I don't want to save the old one, hit yes, I want to program it, and it programmed it. Holy moly. <laughs> and so now, I didn't jinx it. When I turn it on, it'll shut off. I think there's something wrong with this power supply. I think there's a rail or something that's not quite right. Sorry for the blurry camera. I'm gonna shut this off, hold the power button, turn it back on, hit the power button, There we go, we're posting. I've already got everything set up. So, well, now it says 1500 plus because I just cleared the CMOS by holding the power button. CMOS check some error, defaults loaded. We can go over here and hit delete to enter setup. Or not. Or not. It's gonna do this again. Well, earlier I was able to get into the BIOS and check things and it automatically detected correctly the CPU and changed it from a 1500 to a 2100. And then I shut the computer off and pulled the battery from the charger from my camera and started filming. And now we're back to square one? No, square two. We've made some progress, but we're not quite there yet, apparently. Son of a gun. Okay, we're posting. For one, I think that my uh, CMOS battery is probably toast, so that's one thing to easily check and replace. F1 to continue, wrong keyboard. Please boot from the floppy disk. Yes, we're booting from the floppy disk. Am I zoomed out? Yes, I am zoomed out. So we're going to do this again. We're going to do the whole thing again. Uh, can't remember what it was called. A W D F L A tilde 1. So now we're in the BIOS flashing utility, the latest version that I could find from Actually, it was the ECS website, so it may not be the right, or the latest, latest. Uh, yeah, 
file name to program. I don't think this is case sensitive. AN8B1000, oops, 9.bin. It's not case sensitive because it automatically did that for, oh, I've got caps lock on, so whatever. Hit enter. File size doesn't match. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, that's because uh, I put too many zeros in there. Redo. Okay, we'll try this again. A N eight B one zero zero nine dot bin. Now the file size should match because it actually exists instead of being non-existent. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear the floppy drive churning away out of focus. And it's going to do this for a little bit. And I think it's basically just loading the, the bin file off of the floppy. So I'll get back to you when it gets to the next screen. Okay, do you want to save BIOS? I don't need to do that. No. Program? Yes. And here's where you clench your butt cheeks and hope the power doesn't go out. So you ve stay very still. Hope no one turns on the microwave and the kettle at the exact same time. Good there. Good there. Good there. Good there. Good there. Don't need to write that. All done. Remove floppy and hit F1. So we'll hit F1. <clears throat> Still says it's a 1500. That's weird. I'm going to hit delete to go into some BIOS settings. And it's not friggin' working. Great. Mm, this is frustrating. <sighs> Booting again. We're just going to boot from the floppy and see what happens. I know my heatsink's getting pretty warm because I don't have the fan on it. It might be a little bit of an issue. But still, we've got to check some error because settings are wiped. F1 to continue. Can we at least boot from the floppy again. That's good. So hopefully no, we're not actually having a thermal issue here, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep churning away at it. Okay, we've added a fan. Oh boy. Still booting from the A drive just fine. Let's see. CPU clock 1300, that's not correct. Uh, let's see if we can actually boot into proper BIOS settings. Dual channel is correct. Nope. And it quick booted, so... Try that again. As soon as we see stuff, I'll mash delete. Delete to enter setup. Delete to enter setup. Please don't give me the cursor. Oh, you did it again. You, you filthy, filthy dog. Pissing me off. Come on. Just let me get into BIOS again. Let me get into there. Guess how much the old CMOS battery measures? 0.15 volts. Not 3 volts. 0.15. So that got replaced. Now what? Oh boy, look where we are at. Put the new uh, CMOS battery in while the system was running, but before I flashed the BIOS. Hopefully that was safe. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, so now, 
Um, let's see here. I'm doing this left-handed blind. Yep, 133, that's correct. Um, PCI VGA card. AGP VGA card. I like that. USB controller is fine. Everything else is fine. Power management. Sure. Hardware monitor. CPU temperatures at a nice 37. It's pretty good. Um, seem to have locked it up somehow. <laughs> yep. I have. No, I haven't locked it up. Change values, plus and minus. Well, keyboard doesn't work anymore. But we're getting somewhere. So let's try control delete. Let's try control delete. It's probably gonna fast boot, so I'm not gonna know what my um, CPU speed was at. Do another control delete. We'll give it a inner BIOS, inner setup. Okay, that still works. Um, don't really care about the clock right now. Apparently, whenever I go over to hardware monitor, it just locks up. So that's cool. Control it, delete. <laughs> This time I'm gonna double check the CPU, front side bus, whatever it is. Oops, nope, I'm gonna forget to enter setup again. Just bear with me. It's been a long day. Go into setup. Go into setup. Nope, you're gonna do that again. Holy. Okay, we let it boot all the way to the pixie boot. Now, control alt delete. Come on, fan, shut up. Can he do it? Can he get into BIOS setup? He'll hit delete. He will wait a second. He will see the flashing cursor. He will want to punch the wall, but he will not, because that's not productive. And at this point we're totally locked up, Num numlock doesn't do anything. <sighs> I just don't get it. You're just the computer. Like There's like four things you gotta do. One of them's boot, and you're not doing it right. You're doing it like half, on, half the time, half-assed. I don't know. Alright, I have properly reset CMOS, removed the battery, moved the jumper, waited, moved the jumper back, put the battery back in. So, we're gonna go to chipset features. Is that 133? That's correct. We're gonna hit F10. We're not going to go to the hardware monitor. Save and exit. We're going to see what happens. Yay. Post. 2100 plus F U C K Y E S. That is where I'm going to stop today. Well, I'll probably shut it down and then try it again and see if it does the same thing. As in the good thing. But for now, holy moly. What is up with this machine? It's, something's just off. Or I'm off. Or both. Okay, well, just a little, uh, preemptive update. Now I can, I don't know, try the new graphics card, try the Fire GL since I updated the BIOS. I might do that. 
but for now, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take it easy.